This is Seven National News and in our top story, the UAE president, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, held talks with Sultan Qaboos of Oman on Saturday at Al Rauda Palace in Al Ain in the presence of the UAE vice president, prime minister and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Sheikh Khalifa discussed with his visiting guests the unique brotherly relations between the UAE and the Sultanate of Oman and means of bolstering them further. Sheikh Khalifa stressed the importance of fortifying ties with Oman and maintaining constant cooperation and coordination between the two leaderships. The leaders exchanged views on the latest regional developments and the march of the GCC to realize the aspirations and the ambitions of the people of the member states and to serve matters of common interest. Officials at the Emirates Identity Department have stressed that penalties will be imposed on people who fail to register changes in marital and family status once the ID registration process is completed. According to a local report, Emirates ID is planning in the future to facilitate this updating procedure. Self-service machines will be subsequently made available to allow people to make minor modifications, which can also be completed online. The self-service machines will be used for card renewal, card collection and card pin management. There are currently four machines under trial at registration centres in four different locations, namely at Masafa, al Mall, Al-Basha and Sharjah. Additionally, 20 machines are planned to be operational by May 2012 in 20 locations across the UAE. The UAE has a substance abuse relapse rate of only 20%, lower than anywhere else in the world. According to a local report, the National Rehabilitation Centre, based in the capital, revealed that for the period of 2010 to 2011, the percentage of the NRC's patients admitted within the year was only 20%, a modest figure when compared to other treatment centres in the US and Europe. The Director General of the NRC, Dr. Hamed al Ghaferi, stated that this figure was disclosed by the NRC during the thematic conference on addiction psychiatry in Taronga, Spain, where it also hosted a workshop on the addiction trends in the UAE and the centre's treatment approaches. He further added that nowadays they see patients with polysubstance, where more than one type of drug is mixed for the ultimate effect. Offering 150 artworks, some created as far back as the 40s, Christie's Dubai represents a broad collection of contemporary and modern art. Established in 2006, the gallery is now in their 12th season of sales and have revealed their current project under the title of Contemporary Arab, Iranian and Turkish Art. The exhibition will kick off tomorrow with an art creation led by Tunisian artist Enja Mahoudi alongside four Emirati young artists. Once the piece is completed by the team of five, the unique work will be sold in an auction on Tuesday afternoon and the proceeds will be donated to Noor Dubai Foundation. Supported by the Ministry of Culture, the authority believes that upcoming Emirati artists should be given exposure within the industry and should be further encouraged into the art scene. As ministry, we are, this is our role to stand with our artists, to help them to be in this huge project. And I think just to have this opportunity for us, it's a good target. We've been seeing young collectors, and I think also um, the market is going more and more contemporary. And um, so we've seen more and more demand for contemporary artists, because I think at the end of it, collectors like to look at their own generation of artists and what's happening, you know, right there and then um, and I think we're seeing more and more of that but um, you know it's uh, it's incredible we have approximately 20 percent new clients a year coming in through our doors and it's a lot of them are in their 20s and their 30s buying for the first time and it's exciting Raising over 20 million US dollars in charitable contributions so far, Christie's Dubai believes strongly in giving back to the community and allowing artists to participate in empowering communities across the world. 
ever since Christie's actually has started, we've really tried, we, we feel a very strong social responsibility to always give back and to do as much as we can for charity. And actually, I'm really proud to say that we've raised over $20 million to date for charity for the Middle East. And up next, one of the day's business news. So stay with us.